Hey everyone, the Project Catalyst Fund 10 votes are in and there is a lot of happy people and a lot of upset people in the Cardano ecosystem. Now, for those that don't know, Project Catalyst is Cardano's internal funding mechanism where projects can submit various proposals, each fund, and have the community vote on those proposals so that uh, they can potentially get funding and build some really cool things in the Cardano ecosystem. This fund, however, was, I guess, plagued or had a really strong emphasis on down voting in the proposals. If you have a look at the final results that you can get at projectcatalyst.io, look for the Fund 10 PDF there. And overall, there's a majority of large wallets, or it appears that there are large wallets that went through and downvoted many, many proposals. Now, in some cases, this is a good thing. There are sometimes skeptical and questionable proposals out there that should be downvoted on, shouldn't get funding. And, you know, having this downvoting mechanism in the ecosystem is a really good idea putting them down, it's like a security check, uh, a safety check to make sure those types of scamish proposals don't get funded. But in this case, it seems like a lot of really good smaller projects uh, that uh, could have had a lot of really good impact and not just small projects. Th these are some really big ecosystem uh, project partners uh, such as uh, yeah, Charlie 3, Igon. Uh, they're just a couple that uh, had some really strong proposals but didn't get the funding because of the mass amount of down votes. So how is this going to affect the ecosystem in the future? How are things going to improve and change? I don't have the answers for that, but there are a lot of people on Twitter and on social media at the moment uh, chiming in and giving their feedback and potential ways that voting mechanisms can change. So I will put in the description down below a couple of Twitter threads from various people in the ecosystem that do talk about different ways and different models of the downvoting, how uh, downvoting power could be slightly diminished, uh, tiered voting power as well. So you get uh, amount of allocated points based on how much ADA you have. That way, that massive amount of ADA, like 100 million ADA, if you're using that to vote, doesn't have the same type of effect and impact on the whole ecosystem. There's, there's some proposals that got uh, hundreds and hundreds of votes, um, but uh, because of the down voting, they just got wiped out um, anyway. So it's really hard for some of these uh, small projects that do have large community support, a lot of individual wallets uh, to get funded, but because one or two really large wallets come in with millions of ADA, just completely wipe out their proposals. Uh, if you have a look at the voting results, I do encourage you to just have a, at least a glance at them. Uh, over 80% of the, all the proposals were in that uh, kind of criteria, that sector of negative votes. And we hadn't seen this before. So we're seeing the space evolve and change um, for probably not for the good. So we'll see some changes, hopefully in Fund 11. Fund 11 is supposed to start a couple of weeks after the voting results are in for Fund 10. But who knows, uh, there may be a slight pause so that they can adjust and reflect on how the voting mechanisms work. And uh, there may be some additional changes in Fund 11 to improve on the whole Catalyst process. Now, from my point of view, I probably won't be submitting any Catalyst proposals in the future. I don't see the point. I don't see the value of it for the stuff that I'm building. Uh, so the time and effort that you put into writing the proposal, writing a really good proposal, and then marketing the proposal, and then getting people to vote for it, like just begging people to vote for it, I just don't see the amount of time and effort that you put into that worthwhile. And then plus at the end of it, once you do get in, all the reporting and everything you have to do. I was only asking for really small amounts of ADA as well. So it's uh, the amount of time and effort that you have to put into it. It's just not worth it. Um, now, also all the Catalyst Sprint videos that I did. Now, I did check over all of those videos uh, just a little bit earlier to see which projects um, may have gotten funded through those Catalyst Sprint interviews that I did. I don't think any of them got funded either. So I don't know if I'll do those Catalyst Sprints again. I don't see the time and effort that I put into those having any sort of impact for the projects that I did interviews for. So I probably won't be doing those again. Uh, leave a comment down below if you did watch any of them, if you did enjoy them, maybe I will, but um, I don't see the point of doing them, uh, especially if they have absolutely no impact in the voting uh, process. Now, last but not least, uh, if you didn't get funded, 
please don't be disheartened. Uh, the uh, community support that you probably got for the upvotes is a really positive thing. Uh, if you're building a Cardano, if you're contributing to the ecosystem, yeah, sure, great. It's fantastic that you are. Hopefully you do find some other funding methods to keep your projects going and uh, riding out through this bear market at the moment. Uh, don't let this uh, dramatic downvoting uh, you know, change your mind and uh, sway you from building on Cardano. It's just a blip, I hope, in the ecosystem at the moment, and we will see this change in the future. And lastly, congratulations to all the projects that have been funded and made it through on Fund 10. Make sure you keep on delivering and building some really awesome stuff for the Cardano ecosystem. I know a lot of these proposals I did look at that did get funded. There are some really good ones out there. Good luck with building through the next few months and delivering on some of your really awesome things that you're building for Cardano. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.